Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Atlantic Venus channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a flip through of the Journey to Enlightenment Tarot, a new tarot for alchemical transformation. And it is created by Selena Joy Lovett and illustri illustrated by Daniela Manutius Forster. I think she's a British artist. And it's published by Watkinson Publishing. Uh, so this is the box. It comes with a sturdy box. And it's not a too big box. And that's... Uh, I like small packaging. Okay. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, so this is the box. So the card will be in a good place. Uh, I like the sun symbols here. Uh, and there too and this is the back and the side and you can open it easily so let's open and it comes with a guidebook a quite thick guidebook and here's the back and this is a traditional uh, 78 uh, card tarot card you know tarot deck uh, but the art uh, what's uh, what is special with this deck is the art the style of art it is quite uh, strong modern colorful um, is the is it right to use the word eclectic uh, but this is the inside of the box, just plain. Uh, anyway, and this is, I mean, I love this box, this yellow thing that they have here. I, it adds an interesting touch to the whole thing. Anyway, uh, let's put this aside. And let's check the cards so this is the back uh, the quality it's not too thick but not too thin in my opinion uh, it is matte but it's not papery i mean the card slides very easily and it's not one of the biggest decks out there so if you have pretty small hands i think you can handle this deck very easily uh, when it comes to the guidebook you have the contents here uh, connection you the major arcana minor the court cards pip cards a sample spread i mean it has everything that you need simply you know and i think it goes by the uh, classical R, uh, rws system so yeah but let's do the flip through. I have already used the cards, but not that much as I wish I could have done. Uh, but I feel connected to this deck. I understand if most people find it too... Um, I mean, I, I think this deck fits for certain type of uh, tarot readers, you know? Uh, it's very colorful, very busy images, you know. So if you if you're more more drawn to minimalistic type of uh, decks, then maybe this is not for you. But I love the artwork. So this is the first card, the Fool. Uh, you got the number, and that's great. And it's not Roman numerical. It's like the ordinary number and the uh, text down there in the bottom uh, but they have a border I don't know if the image will actually pop up more if it was borderless but I don't mind border or borderless cards I just take it for what it is you know uh, and I just enjoy how the artist and designers works and you know, I, I'm like, if I'm drawn to a deck, okay, if it has borders, no problem. <laughs> I'm not so picky. 
this one looks like Joker for me. You know, the traditional Jokers you can find in the playing card. But I won't talk now too much. Um, you can see what cards belong to what order. So this is the first major Arcana cards. Magician. I mean, you, you can see the traditional rider's uh, weight symbolism in this deck easily, I think, but uh, uh, but you, you, you I, I mean, I think there is a very mystical feeling about this deck for some reason. The High Priestess, I like this big blue moon with stars. But as you can see, very, very busy images. The Empress. The Hierophant. I mean, look at his eyes. He looks a bit possessed. The Hierophant. Lovers. I actually like the strength card and it's very unusual to find tarot decks that have like kind of pink tone to the background here I mean the colors here really pop pop pops out you know so um, if, if you like a colorful deck this is a deck you probably can enjoy off and the artwork is a bit naivistic and I like that I am very drawn to old knives art that kind of looks more naive uh, I guess early modernist art but yeah I like this hangman. Death. Temperance. And here is the sun, like in the front of the box. Judgment. The world. I like the image with the hand here. I actually like when there are hands in the uh, in a uh, deck or piece of art. You know, I'm very drawn to hands. And here is the pentacles suit, ace of pentacles. I like this diamond. So this is not a dark deck. I really, really like this three of pentacles image. I mean, there is a very spiritual feeling to this uh, card. Uh, like you are in a church or in a cathedral, you know.
this is the uh, sword suit and here we have two of swords I like this three of swords card I've never really looked up closely before for this card but I, I just like this almost horror spilling to it uh, Four of Swords. Very interesting Five of Swords card. Six of Swords. You almost get a very psychedelic vibe from this deck. I actually like her artwork. This is the Queen of Swords. She looks a bit tiny and lonely there and sad. This is the King of Swords. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. I mean, I really like the colors here. This is a Queen of Wands. She re really looks beautiful in this image, I think. Very transparent. King of Wands. And this is the Cup Suit. I really like the Ace of Cups here. Uh, looks really, really beautiful. Two of Cups. Three of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Dove there, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and King of Cups. Okay, uh, let's shuffle this deck. And I will read from the guidebook. I mean, it's very easy. I think it's very easy to shuffle this deck. Um, and this is a, also a mass produced deck. But it got some kind of indie vibe to this. Queen of Wands, okay. Queen of Wands. Let's put this aside and let's check the guidebook. Queen of Wands, uh, the core, the pip cards, 
No, it's more. Queen of Wands. Uh, keywords, sensual, confident, free. The Queen of Wands tell you not to under underestimate yourself. You are an incredible person full of life and vitality. So don't let others lead you to believe otherwise. You lived a life overcoming many obstacles and always rising to the challenge. Learn to trust yourself and see the beauty and strength you have within you. Trust your intuition. It will never let you down. Journey to enlightenment. So you can see, you can just check it for yourself if you have bought the deck for yourself. Uh, and enjoy this message and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Atlantic Venus channel uh, and a big thumbs up you know I'm always happy when you do that so thank you guys very much and see you later again bye